Hey guys, it's your Taco and Mary and welcome back to my channel. I'm back again guys with another unboxing and review and this time laptop naman to. Recently guys, even recently actually, a few months ago we just reviewed the Huawei MateBook D15. Kung baga yun yung pang mid-range laptop. And this time, flagship naman to guys. Ito yung tinatawag nila na Huawei MateBook X Pro 2020. Actually guys, if you are following me on my Instagram account, nagpost ako doon ng story kung saan nagulat ako sa isang feature na to dahil hindi ko alam na touch screen pala siya. Well, I'm so sorry for my ignorance guys. This is actually my first time na mag-review ng flagship laptop nila and hindi ako ganun ka-familiar sa specifications niya before. But then later natin pag-usapan yung mga features niya. I'm excited to get the laptop out of this box and I'll be very honest again with you guys. I've been reviewing this I think two weeks already. And I have to return it to its box para alam nyo yun, ramdam pa rin natin yung unboxing and let's just, you know, forget na na-unbox ko na siya and let's just imagine na, alam nyo yun, this is my first time seeing this laptop again. So if ever you will be buying this laptop, nakaganito siyang box and meron pa siyang box actually sa loob. And then, lapas na natin siya. Don't worry guys, na-sanitize ko na to. Oh God. Yes, guys, that is how safe their packaging is. May box sa loob ng box. Okay, now na naalis na natin yun, nakalagay lang naman dito, guys, na again, Huawei MateBook X Pro. Makikita nyo sa bureau natin na once you open yung pinakatakap niya, kumbaga parang aangat yung mismong laptop, mag -e elevate siya ng konti, so parang may ganong effect. So, we have the laptop itself. It also comes... With this box, ang nasa loob niya, yung ating charging cable. Actually, this is a USB Type-C to USB Type-C charging cord. And of course, yung ating 65 watt charging brick. Actually, nung nakita ko to, sobrang sabi ko, wow, may magagamit na akong charging brick. Hindi lang dito sa laptop na to na meron ako, kung these other gadgets na meron ako dahil... Again, this is 65 watts. Actually, if we were to compare it doon sa charging brick ng MacBook Pro, mas compact at mas magaang to. So, for the packaging, for the overall presentation of this Huawei MateBook X Pro, I like it. Very social. Alam mo na mamahalin. Alam mo na flagship yung ina-unbox mo. Let's remove the plastic. So, again, this is the Huawei MateBook X Pro. Pro 2020. Actually guys, nung una ko siyang binuksan, nung ako lang yung nag-unbox, first impression ko agad, manipes, magaano siya, and very compact. It's actually a 13-inch notebook. And compared doon sa previous 13-inch laptop na dinadala ko almost every day, mas mabigat yon and mas makapal. And actually, mix ako yung itry guys. Very quick experiment lang naman. I wanna know if kaya mabuksan itong laptop na to gamit ang isang kamay lang. Alasin na rin natin tong plastic that separates the screen from the keyboard. Actually, kung mapapansin nyo, there's a hand na nagpo-point dito sa camera. So, it means meron pa rin siyang recessed camera na kung saan na itatago yung camera whenever you don't feel like using it. And then, ipapush mo lang if you feel like using it again. And I first saw this sa Huawei MateBook T15. So, again, for its look, okay siya sa akin. It's very sleek. Gusto ko yung kanyang itsura, yung style. Kasi ang minimalist yung tignan. So, if you will ask me, guys, in terms of its appearance, isa na yata to sa pinaka-best looking laptop na nahawakan ko ever since. Para specific tayo, guys, for its thickness, it has 14.6 mm. And for its weight, it's 1.33 kilograms. Yung color variant po na meron ako is what you call space gray. Also available in mystic silver and emerald green. But here in the Philippines, guys, I think ang available lang po is ito, the space gray. So on the right, guys, we have a USB-A port. And then on the left, we have a headphone jack and dalawang USB-C port. And I kind of get it and know already why. Dahil nga sobrang manipis lang siya. It's a really compact laptop. I'm not really expecting na magkaroon pa siya ng HDMI port or even for an SD card port. But kudos to Huawei, guys, for maintaining the headphone jack. Honestly, in terms of laptop, I think hindi talaga pwede itong alisin. 
send or mawala. And also, a USB-A port. Kahit pa paano, nilagyan nila tayo ng isa. Of course, for your mouse or for a wireless mouse in case lang na gusto nyo siyang suksukan ng USB. So, kahit pa paano, at first, you don't need to get a dongle. But alam ko naman, kalaunan kailangan nyo to, of course. Especially, if you're gonna use an SD card. Also guys, sa tabi ng USB-C, meron siyang LED light indicator na kung saan malalaman mo kung magpa-full charge na yung laptop mo or hindi. Which is also a good thing dahil hindi mo lang kailangan na buksan pa yung laptop. And I really appreciate that small detail. Now for its display. Actually, yung display niya isa to sa pinaka-favorite part ko ng laptop na to. Knowing na sobrang nipes nung bezels niya, it really spoils my eyes and kapag bumabalik ako sa mga lumang laptop na ginagamit ko, medyo mahirap yung adjustment since nasanay nga ako dito and the display is just ang sarap talaga niya sa mata. Meron siyang 13.9 inches LTPS touch screen display with 3000 by 2000 pixels resolution. And other than that, as I mentioned earlier, it's a touch screen panel, meaning you can touch the screen. This is my first time to encounter a laptop na ganito, although it's been like this since last year na MateBook X Pro nila. But since this is my first time at the review, a flagship laptop from Huawei, this is very new to me. Paano yung, yung screen niya nga magiging matibay pa siya? Eh, lagi mo siya nga hawakan. Touch screen siya. Dot, dot ka lang dot dot sa kanya. Sorry for using that word, pero yun talaga yung term. Well, buti na lang guys, it retains its 10-point touch support, allowing us to interface with the device directly guys, kahit na tinatap natin siya, even dragging our fingers. And also guys, protected din siya ng Corning Gorilla Glass, and meron din na anti-fingerprint coating for extra protection. And smudge-free, actually, in fairness ah, wala siyang, alam niyo yun, mga fingerprint residues na madalas na problema ko sa mga smartphones. So, medyo nakampante ako. Yung kanyang quality naman, guys, while watching YouTube videos, Netflix, and of course, gaming, I have no problem with it. Definitely, mas okay naman siya kaysa doon sa D15. Well, of course, this is their flagship laptop. Gets ko naman yon. And at first, medyo nag-alala ko dahil baka masyado or medyo mag yung ating display or the screen since madalas nga natin siyang the touch. But in fairness, matibay naman yung kanyang hinge. So, I rarely experience yung sobrang galaw nung display. Next, we have the keyboard and of course, yung ating power button on the upper right. And yung kanyang power button, guys, pwede rin natin siyang gamitin as a fingerprint sensor. Actually, bukod doon sa kanyang fingerprint sensor, meron ding face unlock ito. But, medyo mahihirapan kayo ng konti since, again, the camera is hidden under the keyboard. You have to push it pa para, of course, ma-unlock yung device. So, medyo hassle yun ng konti. So, I really suggest use na lang the fingerprint sensor on the upper right. Actually, mabilis naman siya. Now, for the recessed camera or the camera hidden under the keyboard, we've discussed this already sa ating Huawei MateBook D 15-inch video. I really like the idea. Gusto ko na may privacy tayo because you'll never know someone may be watching you. Guys, to to, to promise. Kapag hindi nyo tinakpan yung camera doon sa mga laptops na meron kayo at home, may possibility kasi na mahak kayo. Someone might be stalking you. Gives me, you know, security and hindi ko kailangan mag-isip kung may nunood ba sa akin. But then at some point, especially if during this quarantine, community quarantine, may mga Zoom meetings kayo, medyo hindi siya ganun ka flattering. Hindi ganun ka-flattering yung ang angle. You'll have to adjust the laptop ng kote para alam nyo yun, hindi puro baba at yung ilong nyo yung nakakita. Hey guys, so here's a sample video from the Huawei MateBook X Pro 2020. And ito na rin yung audio just in case lang na gusto nyong marinig. So yes, here's the angle. Hi! It's your tech girl, Mary! <laughs> Pero okay na rin sa akin that we have a recessed camera. It gives this laptop a borderless look. And very rare ko lang din naman gamitin yung camera sa laptop. So I'd rather have a bezel-less display kaysa magkaroon ng camera on top. Keyboard, I have no problem with it. Actually, gusto ko yung spacing sa kanya. Yung kanyang spacing and of course, yung travel time ng ating kamay. It's very clicky but not to the point na very distracting na sobrang ingay. And para sa akin guys, yung kanyang touch screen feature, it's probably the most 
useful dahil you'll never know kung mapapagod yung kamay nyo while typing. And I swear, minsan nakakangalay talaga. Now for the processor guys that is being used dito sa Huawei MateBook X Pro 2020. It has the 10th generation Intel Core i7-1 05 IOU processor. It has 16GB of RAM and 1TB PCLE SSD. Nahandle naman niya yung day-to-day -day task very well. And yung upgrade from 8th gen Intel processor to 10th generation, ramdam ko naman siya. So it's not really surprising na very fast and responsive yung ating Windows 10. Nahandle niya rin guys very well yung ating multitasking. Pero for me guys, MX250 GPU, I don't think kaya nang i-handle yung super intensive task or yung mga heavy gaming. Now for the battery life. Since medyo matagal ko nang ginagamit itong laptop na to, I think 2 weeks na, I was able to use this laptop from 10 to 15 hours. Pero hindi naman ganun ka-intense yung paggamit ko sa kanya. Like for example, gaming, editing. Now let's quickly talk about the Huawei Share. Actually, uh, medyo, alam niyo yun, I'm diving into the Huawei ecosystem already since I am also reviewing the Huawei MatePad, yung baga nila, and of course, the Huawei P40 Pro. I have it here right now, yung aking Huawei Watch GT, and of course, the Huawei Free Buds 3. It really helps me guys to get the most out of multiple devices at once. Isa sa pinakagusto ko dito guys is yung Huawei Multi-Screen Collaboration. Unang-una mong kailangan gawin, buksan mo yung NFC and the Wi-Fi to your Huawei smartphone. And then, ipatong mo lang itong Huawei smartphone mo dito sa kung saan nakalagay yung Huawei or nakadikit yung Huawei share sticker. And then, just follow the steps na lalabas dito sa Huawei smartphone nyo. Nauna, pwede kong i-drag and drop yung mga files ko either from my laptop to my phone or from my phone to my laptop. Hindi lang photos guys sa even documents, videos, Actually, pwede rin natin i-control itong Huawei smartphone ko from this Huawei MateBook X Pro. Isa rin sa pinaka-favorite ko, I can play games here on my smartphone tapos it will show dito sa Huawei MateBook X Pro. Like for example, I want a bigger display while playing Asphalt 9. Or for example, you guys are playing Mobile Legends or even PUBG. Wala siyang log actually and dire-diretso lang. Very seamless. So Mary, how much ba itong laptop na nare-review mo itong Huawei MateBook X Pro 2020? This retails for 119900 90 pesos. So, ito yung mga reasons kung bakit kailangan mo siya bilhin. Ito rin yung mga reasons kung bakit hindi mo siya kailangan bilhin. So, kumbaga, may mga, alam niyo yun, pros and cons tayo. I really suggest it if gusto niyo ng Windows 10 MacBook alternative na may magandang battery life. Pangalawa, I think you should consider this laptop if gusto niyo ng mga laptop na manipes, magaang. Especially if you are always on the go at lagi kang nasa labas. Favorite ko rin guys, yung kanya yung 91% screen to battery ratio talagang full view kung full view display. Third is of course you have a Huawei smartphone. Diba nga, as I mentioned earlier, isa sa pinaka best feature ng laptop na to is yung tinatawag nating Huawei Share. It's great na mamamaximize natin yun. Now, don't buy it if gusto mo ng budget laptop dahil First of all, this is not a budget laptop. But again guys, the main reason kung bakit nga medyo mataas yung kanyang price is because of its 91% full view display na mas bigger kaysa sa MacBook Pro iCore 10. Plus the battery life, kung i-compare natin siya sa battery life ng MacBook Pro na ginagamit ko before, mas matagal ang buhay nito dahil yung sa MacBook Pro halos 8 hours in average lang. Second, don't buy it if you need a laptop for intensive graphical applications. Although alam naman natin lahat na itong Huawei MateBook X Pro, meron siyang dedicated graphics card, and I know it gives a little bit power para sa kanyang graphics performance, it is still an entry level chip. So that is it guys for our review of this laptop, the Huawei MateBook X Pro 2020. It's been a while since nakapag-review tayo ng laptop. Anyway, that is it guys. Again, it's your Dr. Mary and see you on my next video. Bye!